and begin. Hello. Welcome again to Healing Psychic Art. My name is Elizabeth K-E-A-D-Y. My Gmail is Elizabeth K-E-A-D-Y 3 at gmail.com. If you would like an essence drawing specific to your energy for a special occasion or for someone else, if you would like an angel drawing for your new home or your new office, you can email me and let the session roll. For some reason, I'm going to start with green today. Let's see if you can see that. I'll show you when it's when we're. I'll turn it up. Oh, I have an idea for this one. There. This, this looks like some kind of marsh at the seaside. Some kind of uh, brush at the seaside. I, I was told to start drawing just to relax years ago. I said, I don't know how to draw. They said, they don't, doesn't matter. Just relax, just draw. And I had been in a church choir that, that opened up quite a channel for me for about six hours a week. And when that choir ended, I was really stifled. And an artist friend of mine named Mari said, Get, get a sketchbook and start to draw. And you need to put that energy somewhere. And then at, the, at a meditation uh, church I was going to, the lady said, yes, draw, draw, draw. And after a couple of three years of Saturdays, drawing outside Starbucks with my Starbucks cup and my own coffee, uh -huh. <laughs> some pictures started to show up. I can't draw what I see, so it was really something. I was really surprised. And uh, she said, now you're ready to draw for other people. I said, oh, my goodness. And so sometimes pictures that are familiar to you or to the client that are past rewards of your accolades or a reminder of your value on this earth show up to, to the client. And it becomes a very moving moment. Uh, and at the very least, it would be a positive reflection of you in a pastel floral drawing. If they're sent long distance, they're sent in a plastic, in a tube, with matting instructions and framing for best framing ideas, and a card that will remind you what the drawing was about, what we talked about at the time that it was done. So there are scanned copies of my drawings that I did for myself that have titles. And so that's a separate message. And we write on that card what the occasion was, what the drawing was, what the message was were at the time that the drawing was done for you. I also do oil paintings if given the colors. Uh, everything is 20 by 20. The oil paintings are 20 by 20. Um, so if I'm given four colors, um, you can receive an oil painting. The oil paintings are 300. The drawings are 100. And a lot of people like the angels. Um, you can tell me what color you want your drawing in or your painting or just let me know. But I prefer with oil paintings that you do give me the colors for your home or your office so that it's something that's I'm sure will be pleasing to you because that's a price, $300 is a price, but it includes shipping. Let's see. So this is a, this is a lake out here, an ocean or something. Not quite sure yet. I think it's darker out. I think it's darker out. I think it's darker. I'm not sure. So this is what I call my mosaic pastel pattern. 
And oftentimes people see things in these, in, in the fades of these lines, spirits, little kids, it's nothing that I put in intentionally. It was meant to be there for your drawing. For instance, I drew three trees, the park outside, and I entitled it Never Alone. And I didn't know until I made a calendar. They were 12 inch by 12 inch pages. And I put that page up three months later for then August. There were definite faces <laughs> in the trees. Uh, one was a baby's face. One was a lady with a hat, just her head with her hat. And one was a man, looked like Jimmy Durante, just a face with a nose. Definite uh, faces. And it's interesting because the title of the drawing was You Are Never Alone. What I meant was even the trees share space with each other, but but Spirit had another idea to say, Elizabeth, you are never alone. And I think that was it. I'm, I'm very grateful and very humbled, and I do believe that life continues after the change called death. I'm a Reiki master teacher. I'm not teaching right now. Uh, I was in traditional medicine for 29 years, and uh, I, I practiced meditation and mediumship at spiritualist churches in Chicago for 20 years, lectures and messages. So you have to have evidence of those things in order to believe, and I have had evidence of those things. The first spiritualist church I went to, I didn't even know what it was about. And this lady said, Elizabeth... Your mother's in spirit. And I thought, well, that's easy. I'm 40 something. She could have guessed that. She, said, she wants you to know she's having the time of her life visiting China and Japan. Stop the press. The last thing in my mother's last year of her life, one of the things she told me was that she, her only regret was that she never saw China and Japan. That made a believer out of me, that we do continue on after the change called death. And uh, it's what the Catholics call the resurrection of the spirit. So I don't have any shame about believing that. I do believe that we continue on. Yes, I do. And I love when messages come through to people that are what they call evidentiary. And they can say, oh, my God, you know why this, Elizabeth? You know why that? And it blows me away every time because I don't know ahead of time. I'm not a clairvoyant. I'm not a psychic. I don't want to be. I don't want to know people's business. You know, I don't delve into those things voluntarily. So when it just happens, it's because it's supposed to happen. And... Uh, tells me that I'm on the right path. I'm doing this without really getting in anybody's business. I'm doing this to help people. And uh, these essence drawings just kind of evolved. I never planned it, you know. The whole thing is just amazing to me. So here we are. I think if we... I've never tried to... I normally I would put in something more vertical here with some white, but I'm going to try to put in some something else and see how it looks. I don't normally try. Now it looks almost underwater. I tried to put in waves, but now this looks like almost underwater. I told you I cannot draw anything intentionally. The waves are just washing up on the shore. So Drawing number one, we thank all our guides and loved ones for being in our place. You're welcome in our space every day. We ask for protection in this and all meditative processes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Any questions, Elizabeth, K-E-A-D-Y-3 at gmail.com.